Uh, ladies and gentlemen, a reminder that I don't know anything about settings. Uh, so if anybody uh, could tell me, should something be at 720p, uh, 1080? I don't know why my phone has the option to use uh, what the pro video. Let's try pro video. And I noticed too that my selfie stick. Uh, do you know that's what jiggles all the time? Like it's like right at the, the top part that holds it. And I was like, oh, so this doesn't really actually even help. It, if anything, the selfie stick is making it jiggle more than when I hold it. Anyway, if there's any video nerds out there who want to tell me, like, what are the best settings if you were making vlogger, you know, walk and talk vlogging type videos uh, with a camera? either a Xiaomi or a Samsung uh, 813. I don't know if that matters. Anyway, I'm uh, just taking a little shot of the Auntie's Super Garden up there uh, from up here on the first floor. And then I'm gonna go down and take a look because there's some news about the Auntie's Garden. Or actually, no, ne no news to report. Uh, I'll explain in a second. Uh, now we're at day 70, I'm going to say day 70, I've lost track, it's just months, months and months and months of this. So uh, this is for people who do not appreciate artisans. Uh, they have been working on this. First of all, you see those sort of flower-like structures? You can, you just cannot appreciate how welders metal grinders went non-stop for two straight months to put those together for you and now we got grinding thank god the sound of shearing high-pitched concrete and metal grinding has carried on because i know if it stopped like this neighborhood would be i don't think they'd go into shock not knowing what to do with having a moment's silence uh, but anyway, the, you know, I always mention this sort of creates like an auditorium type projection. So even if you run well on the other side of those buildings, it almost seems louder than when I'm standing here in person. But they have been working on this for, I mean, I've lost track. They just grind and grind and grind that shearing metal sound on concrete day and night for what seems like, oh, at least a month now. And that's just that little section, uh, which also they ground out for, I think a month, they were grinding out this little channel. And I think it's all to make some kind of little design that lights up. So if you don't appreciate that when you come here and see that, I want you to know that this is how much work goes into these things. And I want to show you something here, and you will think this is so unremarkable. You'll have nothing to, you, 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 you don't even know what's, why is he pointing at this? Uh, it's nothing. Well, let me tell you, you have never, every brick you're looking at was almost hand, hand grinded with grinders. And about 50 workers, day and night grinding out each and every single brick, pulling it up and then re-grinding it again and the same the steps. And there is at least three months of 100 workers working by hand. Um, I'm sure many of them are now deaf from blasting those high-pitched grinders day and night, morning and night, 12, 14 hours a day to bring you these bricks so i would like to just say on behalf of these workers you need to appreciate what exactly you are walking on it is a thousand man hours and it is a thousand of those with high-pitched metal screeching grinders okay well i guess the aunties have blocked off this sidewalk for some reason with their bike uh, that's a great place just put it there so that you block off everybody walking um, so there's been an update, uh, and uh, quite a while ago, there was an update. And if you can kind of make out that, that sign off in there, 
that yellow and red sign, that's the official colors, you know, of China, uh, they have posted notices that uh, as of June 1st, I think it was May 29th or May 30th, actually. So as of June 1st, you know, they were going to bring in the machines and level off this construction site. Uh, now, this is the anti gardens that I'm scared to go into because I don't want to get in big trouble. Uh, something is going on, though, because, oh, the corn, oh, they're harvesting already. Uh, so if we were to go up here, oh, if I get caught, you guys, you're going to hear some foul language or some harsh recommendations for me to get out. Uh, so anyway, yeah, this sign is telling them. Uh, let's see. Now, what? wait, 7, 5.30. Yeah, okay, so they had, they were supposed to clear out or prepare for their gardens to be uh, leveled. This whole entire site would be leveled. Uh, however, uh, that date came and went, and I actually noticed the aunties did not, like they did change nothing at all of their daily routines. Um, so they are, uh, although they are harvesting, but just as they normally would, uh, of no special uh, compelling reason other than it's harvest time. And uh, the, the, I was really expecting a lot of trucks to show up and then have a anti, an anti versus authorities battle. I don't know what team you're on. I'm not on any team. I'm just a reporter. And there she is. She's got her buckets of water and the, and the thing blocking off the... Uh oh Guys, don't look over there. Don't look. Okay. okay. Um, and then I think what happens is they're over here. Uh, they've pulled up. They've pulled up the city. Uh, so, and they're somehow they're dredging water out of there. And I'm almost scared to put my camera on there in case it falls in. And they're and now they got ropes and stuff, and they're pulling water up uh, from the city water supply. Uh, so that's great. That's just great. And so, by the way, if you if you are uh, you know just a nice family walking your dog and grandparents with their grandchildren, uh, duly note there's a they pull that open and you can fall in there uh, if you're not careful. Uh, I mentioned that before in a previous video. <clears throat> the uh, aunties uh, do not care. You know, it's funny I never noticed that before. But this, by the way, I bought this in Canada although it could be made in China. But uh, this selfie stick has got all of these locks and everything. But right where you put clasp it, the clasp around the camera itself, for whatever reason, it just has sort of like a pressed on plastic. Um, it's, there's no way to lock it or tighten it. And so I, I don't, it's funny, I never noticed that before. But so what happens is if I'm holding it, that little part right at the top will jiggle, start jiggling. And even the farther away you hold the selfie, the more it'll jiggle. Uh, so isn't, you know, it's weird, I never noticed that. And I used to go, why is the camera so jiggly? And I just really caught on to that now. Well, there you go, I'm quite the vlogger. Uh, I guess when I say I'm not a techie type, I don't even notice things like that. Um, again, I seem to keep having issues with microphones. So I really hope this one is working. Okay, and here guys, let's take a look from this end. They also have a, you know, the warning, the posting, that this will be uh, leveled off with uh, machines. Oh shit, here comes an energy now. I better get out of here. Oh, here comes some uh, cardboard antis. Uh, looks like they've collected a lot of cardboard. And here comes a guy, of course, just driving his scooter. Um, I'm going to actually tell you guys something about this, what you just saw with that uh, delivery guy. And he's driving up. So there's been recently, there has been uh, three completely separate different incidents in mainland China uh, where foreigners have attacked or been beating or in one case making a... Um, 
like a, trying to make a citizen's arrest. Thanks, buddy. And the uh, of, of uh, delivery drivers um, dangerously driving in pedestrian areas, or even sometimes on the sidewalks, well, which we'd normally think are pedestrian areas. So like what'll happen, um, and I can kind of relate to it, because if you're uh, probably from some kind of Western country, not only that actually, and you, okay, so if you were here, you'd go, okay, that's the sidewalk. And actually you can drive scooters on there because you have to put them on those little uh, parking spots. Okay. And then if you were coming up here, you would assume that no way are scooters allowed. Vehicles are not supposed to be here, like this guy's vehicle over there. Okay, but he's just decided to take it. He's just driven it up here. And delivery drivers will frequently come up here on what, what you and I believe to be an absolutely pedestrian-only, uh, you know, walking space. And they, and it, it is true, they will drive sometimes like in psychotic speeds. Also, if they see you, they do uh, what's a very bizarre phenomenon out here, which is they will mirror into you. So if they, so okay, so if I was walking here and the guy came up, up here and came around this corner, the moment he saw me, he'd actually veer towards me slightly. And then as if he's gonna hit me and then correct and then go around me. Uh, so there's that too, right? So I think what happened is the foreigners took that as someone was trying to run them down. And it was no coincidence that it was delivery drivers because some of them, they really will drive at absolutely dangerous speeds. Like they'll rip past here. You'll see them going 30 clicks. They'll go in 30 kilometers an hour. What's that in miles? You know, but they'll be doing 20 miles an hour straight down there at night, daytime, anything. Um, I noticed in Ontario, Canada, there was more of this where you have a, like a community, you have your high rises. And then on the first floor areas, you have your shops, right? You have whatever the usual things like little you know little store little just a little pharmacy uh, little restaurants um, but then I'm going to show you something else that's quite cute uh, like for example this is I think is not open but it sort of looks like there could be people shopping inside no that's not a good example let me show you more if I was just to walk the camera past here you'd think wow all, there's so many shops uh, but actually, these are um, these sort of like photos. Like, I think, you know, this could be a If you rent this, uh, it could be a hair hairdressing salon. Then you get, you know, but if you just walk past that, you could almost believe uh, that, oh, that's a hairdressing salon. You know, this is a flower shop. Oh, wait, it's, it's just uh, graphics. You know, so anyway, sometimes this throws me off too, because I'll think... Like, oh, it looks like there's a lot of things in that area. But then I realized there are these, you know, they're the graphics as if the store was open. This one seems to be suggesting you could definitely have hair salons. I guess that could be a restaurant, right? They're showing you, hey, if you lease this place. But anyway, so it's kind of like these fake storefronts. Um, but I don't think it's necessarily to do with being fake. I think it's just uh, suggesting to you, right? Maybe you want to lease a place. Oh, well, yeah, actually a bar. That's what a bar would look like. Come down from your building, first floor. Uh, sometimes you might go through a series of gates and then show up here. And, uh oh, I better get out of the way. I'm right into, uh oh. Do -do 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 okay, so one downside uh, could be if you have a, a school right near your apartment building, and it's very noisy. Actually, it's not. That's probably the least of your uh, least of your noise issues. Uh, mostly, it would be grinding bricks. 
for three straight months would be much more likely your noise complaint, uh, more than uh, having like a kindergarten uh, in your community. Okay. Um, guys, I'm going to take you over. Uh, this is another thing. A lot of times stores, uh, they just think it's a great idea. Holy shit. Speaking of noise complaints, sure you can't hear me anymore. Speaking of noise complaints, so that's, they love that. Hey, there is a lot of hair salons here. Okay, and also, I don't even know where that store was. That supermarket. I don't know if they're going to get weirded out if I do an in-store video. Oh, now she's doing a video of me doing a video in her store. And then she's telling everybody, shh, don't let him see. <laughs> uh, a lot of supermarkets enjoy, they really enjoy um, playing this sort of love music. And I have forgotten my earplugs today, so I have to tolerate that. Actually, these are really good. A Vita Soy. So if you ever find a Vita Soy something, I find those are quite nice, very delicious. I also like this coconut water. I feel it's quite, quite nice. And these juices are good too. So this store has some pretty good stuff. Okay, wait, I gotta go back. Uh, yeah, you'll also get like traffic jams. So, <laughs> now after recommending this, having a bunch of stores and shops on your first floor, I can now say there's a downside to that, which is that you get these crazy, hectic traffic jams. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there anymore. Oh, well, it's a good thing that guy parked his bike right there. Good lord. That is uh, some noisy roosters over there. Oh, also, you'll get roosters. Uh, uh, and then, you know, somebody probably lives above that, so they get to hear the roosters at, like, who knows what time in the morning. Um, okay, this old couple seems to be struggling a little. Yeah, not all of these. There's still room for more. But you can almost see if here we have sort of like one third, uh, maybe one quarter of the places are uh, leased out and have businesses. And already there's quite the traffic jams. Bless that little girl, eh? She's trying to lead Grandma, and Grandpa's having some difficulties over there. Uh, so, yet the little girl, the granddaughter, is still trying to sort of take them along. Um, I don't know exactly what happens here. Well, I think I actually do know what happens. Is that there was a little traffic jam, and someone backed up. The, there were, there were, you'll frequently see people, like, um, they'll... They're going the wrong way or something, and they'll just back up, back and forth, in the middle of this rather small road. And then they they back into that store. Guaranteed, that's what happened. Uh, not unusual to see that. Or to see, like, even bricks or stairs all smashed up from bumpers. Okay, I think this is the store, guys, that I wanted to go to. MGM Life. Sure. Anyway, they have things like... Uh, Manbao, bread, uh, and they have the closest thing to like a wet, actual proper Western style bread, like loaf of sliced bread. So let's go take a look. Gotta go through these little plastic. Okay, I'm in. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. We got a little bit of fish. We got our vegetables. Our eggs. This is kind of like a little, little like a high-end specialty type, you know. Would you call it a boutique store? I don't know. Um, 
we got a lot of yogurt. Anyway, where did I see that bread? Oh, oh yeah. Little fruits. Uh, oh, good. Yeah, these guys also have some of the best bananas. Because uh, I don't enjoy blackened bananas. So if, uh, if you guys are traveling around, uh, I find that this brand right here is pretty good. Um, you can make sandwiches. If you're like me and you enjoy sandwiches, you can get a whole wheat one. Or you can get a, a milk bread one. And okay, guys, just to review, we found uh, this Pepsi that seems, uh, it looks like it's some kind of fruit flavor and also bamboo flavor. And I don't mind it. Uh, we have our uh, bread. Uh, we have bulofen, uh, ibuprofen or Advil, some kind of cinnamon stick, milk, in case you want to know what characters for milk are. And this is milk that doesn't have sugar in it, thank God. Um, I found these little uh, fruit roll-ups, which I find are quite nice. And I've got coffee uh, that does not have sugar in it. And uh, guys, guess what else? Uh, remember my uh, plastic film? Here, well, this again was my own house. And my own doing, I never even noticed. Oh, you know, before I forget, uh, I have been involved with this. Uh, it seems like years. I mean, like I have actually discussed this with uh, with like store employees who told me that they have actually told this company, which uh, makes a nice print, uh, about this issue. And okay, so you're gonna see what I mean. Uh, it looks like a normal bread, and there's your your plastic tie. Uh, this is actually a good example of sometimes when things happen that uh, are not understood what they're for, but are being uh, copied. And then the bread is sealed right here. There's a, and there's no pull up, there's no pull off anything. This is just like a heat seal. Okay, so in order for me to, to get at this bread, I will have to cut it right about almost right down to the bottom right if you see what I mean and then what would I do right then question what would this be for it's like you can't tie it back up and clasp it and I think this is a good example of things you'll find in other countries where they've copied something they've seen, but they don't actually have an understanding of what it is, like the actual function and purpose of a thing. So like maybe this company just thinks, oh, uh, this is just a decoration that they must like. Like Western bread companies just like to put this decoration on there. And then they also often think that bread is the same as cake. So what they, what they would think is, is that people just open it like that, and then everybody eats it like cake at a sitting. We all pull out the bread and eat pieces of bread until the bread is, is gone, at the, like we would eat a small cake and it's gone. I mean, I have to go get another plastic bag, put that in it, and then I could tie it up with this. Uh, so anyway, this has actually been a major ongoing thing, and it has involved, like, staff at Walmart have told me that they have personally even uh, contacted this company to tell them about this, and they keep doing it. So uh, that's just a funny, wacky thing I wanted to show you. Uh, it's highly annoying, though, because that actually is uh, a pretty nice bread.